What's up guys, David here from Dignited. Today I want to show you how you can cast or screen mirror media to your Roku TV or streaming player. All right, let's get into it. Now the terms casting and screen mirroring are commonly used interchangeably because they mostly do the same thing but there are slight differences. Casting allows you to direct or cast a song, a photo, a video, a movie or TV show that you're watching on a supported app on your smartphone or tablet to your Roku TV or streaming player. This happens wirelessly over a Wi-Fi network. After the media starts playing on your Roku TV, you can use your mobile device for something else or you can switch it off. The content on your TV will continue playing and you can control playback with your Roku remote or the Roku app. Screen mirroring on the other hand does the same thing as casting just in a different way. Screen mirroring also known as mirror cast although Roku doesn't use this term, enables you to replicate or mirror everything you see on a compatible smartphone or tablet on your Roku TV screen. The keyword here is everything. So whatever you see on your mobile device is what appears on the big screen TV. This also happens wirelessly over a Wi-Fi network. All right, let me show you how casting and screen mirroring work on your Roku TV. I have a Roku Streaming Stick Plus connected to an HP monitor as my setup. Now to cast media from your smartphone to the Roku Stick, you have to use a media app that supports casting. Most popular media apps and services such as YouTube, Netflix, Plex, Disney+, Facebook, Watch, Spotify all support casting. You can tell if the app supports casting if you see a little cast icon appear somewhere on the video screen. For this video, I'm going to be using YouTube. For casting to work, your smartphone which has YouTube installed and your Roku TV or streaming player must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Otherwise, the cast icon won't appear on the YouTube app and you won't be able to cast content to your Roku TV. All right, to cast media to your Roku TV from your YouTube app, simply start the YouTube app from your Android phone and then tap on the cast icon over the video that is playing and then select which Roku device that you want to cast to. So for my case, I'm going to select the Roku Streaming Stick Plus and then your video will start casting on your Roku TV. You will receive an alert here on your TV that says new device connected connected and it lists your device's name up there and in a few seconds the video will start playing on your Roku TV. Now you can control playback, you can control volume, you can pause play using your smartphone as actually a remote and it totally really works. Now the beauty about casting here is that you can actually multitask on your phone. It means that you can use your phone for other tasks, you can read emails, Emails, you can uh, write documents, you can do lots of other things on your phone while the video is playing on your Roku TV. So that is one huge advantage about casting a video to your Roku TV. Now if you want to disconnect or to stop casting a specific video to your Roku TV, open the YouTube app again, then just go to that video that is playing and see it says playing on Roku Streaming Stick Plus. Yeah, just tap on it, the cast icon will appear over the video. So tap on the cast icon and then just down here, tap on disconnect. The video will now continue playing on your smartphone, but it will disconnect on your Roku TV. You can see it says device disconnected. Now that we have seen how casting works, now let me show you how screen mirroring works. Now, screen mirroring is limited to compatible Android and Windows PC devices. You need an Android phone that is Miracast certified and supports Android 4.2 or later. Basically, any phone released in the last five years will work. You will also need a screen mirroring or Miracast receiver, which typically is your smart TV. 
Now, most current generation Roku streaming players and Roku TVs support screen mirroring with notable exceptions being some 2017 models of the Roku Express and Roku Express Plus. You should find the model of your Roku device by going to settings and then system and then about and then you can check the Roku product page if your model supports screen mirroring or mirrorcast. Lastly, like casting, your smartphone or Roku device must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network for screen mirroring to work. Alright, let me show you how screen mirroring works on Roku TV. So now I'm going to show you how to turn on screen mirroring on your smartphone and just mirror your smartphone screen to the Roku TV. To do that, come to settings in your smartphone and then tap on connection and sharing and then tap on cast and then toggle on the cast button and then select your Roku streaming device. So a list of uh, compatible Roku devices will show up. So tap on which one you want to cast to. In my case, I'm selecting the Roku streaming stick plus now this procedure will vary depending on which Android phone you're using for my case I'm using the Redmi Note 10 but ideally just look for the cast option on your smartphone so the video will start casting from your smartphone to your Roku TV and now you can see my entire phone screen is being replicated on my Roku TV so whatever I do on my phone is reflected on the TV so if I played a YouTube video on my phone, it's reflected on the TV. And if you want to remove the text and buttons and icons, simply turn to full screen mode so that only the video shows up on your Roku screen. All right. Now, the disadvantage with screen mirroring is that you can't really multitask with your smartphone. You can only uh, use it for watching videos or casting whatever media you have on your phone to your Roku TV. You can't do anything else apart from that specific single task. All right. So to stop screen mirroring, you can always go back to settings and then uh, screen sharing and then you select uh, cast and then you can toggle cast on and off or you can uh, access the cast icon from the notification panel. So just swipe down to reveal the notification panel and then just tap on cast. So that way the screen mirroring will stop working on your phone. Now let's look into some screen mirroring settings on your Roku TV. You can define how an incoming screen mirroring request is handled by changing the screen mirroring mode on your Roku device. You can also remove a device that was added to a list of allowed devices or blocked devices. To do that, go to the home screen by pressing the home button on your Roku remote and then select settings and then go to system and then select screen mirroring. Select one of the choices to define how an incoming screen mirroring request is handled. All right, I hope now you know how to cast or screen mirror content to your Roku device. I generally prefer casting if the app supports it because it gives me the flexibility of using my smartphone for other tasks. But if I'm using an app that doesn't support casting, then screen mirroring is the best option. Also, if you have an iPhone or iPad, consider using AirPlay instead. I already made a video on how to set up and use AirPlay on Roku TV, so just watch that video to see how it works. All right, guys, that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give us a like, ring the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.